Have you verified and updated your software? Since you already assigned the unit IDs, you must verify if the appropriate software is installed. First, check the most recent revision of the GI275 STC equipment list to confirm which software version should be on the units. We'll need to power all GI275s into configuration mode. Here's a tip to help make this process easier if you have multiple units installed. Start by powering on a single unit while pressing and holding the inner knob. Hold until the confirmation page appears. Select the Accept button. The configuration homepage will now appear. Scroll down and select Restart Options. Select Restart All to config. Your unit will power down and it will power on with all other units into config mode. Now that you have all the units powered on into config mode, check the software version. Select Accept to go to the configuration homepage. Select Import Software Configuration. On the Import page, select GI275 Software. On the Software Update page, the unit's current version will be shown. Make sure the software version displayed on the GI275 matches the version stated on the equipment list. Go to each GI275 and verify the software version. If all the instruments have the correct software, stop. You're ready to start configuring the instruments. We suggest you view the unit type video to familiarize yourself with the next steps in the configuration process. Now, if you're still here, you do not have the latest software. Let's look at how to retrieve the latest version. If you're not a Garmin dealer, you'll have to access support.garmin.com to download the software to a USB device. If you are a Garmin dealer, go to the DRC to download the latest version to a USB drive. Once your USB drive is loaded with the correct software, you're ready to start the update. Make sure all your units are powered on and entered into configuration mode. Insert the USB device with the correct software into the USB dongle or GSB15 connector. A USB icon will appear on the unit directly connected to the USB port. This confirms the USB drive is communicating with the system. If it does not appear after one minute, remove the drive and reinsert, and wait for the icon to appear. Go to Import Software Config on the unit connected directly to the port. Touch GI275 Software and select USB as the source. Touch the Settings button. The default setting is Multicast, which allows you to upload software to all GI275s from a single GI275. Now that everything is set, touch the Back button. Touch the Update button. Select the applicable updates or select All. Selecting All is the easiest option to assure all units have the latest software. Touch Update Packages and then begin Update. Give the system time to update. It may take up to two minutes. When complete, restart all GI275s. That's it! You've successfully updated the software. As always, refer to the GI275 STC installation manual for more detailed instructions. The next step is to configure each instrument. Look at the setting unit type video for the first step in that process. <laughs>